hi libra welcome back i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for libra sun moon rising venus and north node okay i feel really good today libra so maybe this is your energy hopefully you guys are feeling good i don't know <laughs> i feel happy doing your reading so let, let's see hopefully some good shit comes out okay <laughs> Um, just take what resonates, leave what does not fit, okay? And also remember to flip and switch the roles. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. So let's pull an energy oracle card. Let's see what's happening for my Libra spirit. What is going on for Libra? Messages for Libra. What do they need to hear at this time? Okay, so we have number 47, the thinking woman. Okay. What else can we get for Libra? All right, then we have number 44, a woman holding a heart. Some of you guys could be ages 47 or 44 or dealing with somebody that age. Then we have number eight, indecision. Then happy family. Okay, door to romance. So some of you guys could be trying to make a decision on um a relationship possibly or you know a relationship could be family it could be a lover it could be you know it's all type of relationships um maybe you're trying to decide between two paths here and both paths are you don't know what's going to be ahead and neither one of the paths you just have to go off of your intuition really so whatever your intuition is telling you but we have the thinking woman and a woman holding a heart so some of you guys are trying to maybe some of you guys have options could be feminine energy that i'm pulling in here that has options some of you guys could be a leo that's number 44 that's eight okay it could be a leo or you could be dealing with um not you could be a leo but you have leo somewhere highly aspected in your chart okay then we have 11 justice so that is you libra so maybe there's there's some balance here there's something coming into balance possibly um maybe there's some truth and clarity that's going to come in to help you make this decision <laughs> or this could be a person that you're connecting to okay so just really really take it um take what resonates okay so let's see for Libra spirit, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, no. What do we have for Libra? Please clarify this message here for Libra. Some of you guys are trying to open up to someone. Okay. I'm hearing something about compassion. So I don't know. Maybe there's a situation here that you need to have more compassion for. Or this is your person that you're connecting to. So let's see. For Libra spirit, what's going on for Libra? Okay, yeah, look at you rushing in. Or somebody's rushing in towards you. Yes, I feel like somebody wants to talk to you. Okay, definitely some travel or some movement. Let's see. What's going on for Libra Spirit? Messages here for Libra. Okay, the Empress in reverse. All right, what's the bullshit here, Libra? <laughs> that's you in reverse. Or it could be a Taurus you're dealing with. But that's definitely divine feminine energy. But I feel like somebody's in distorted feminine energy. The Empress in reverse could be somebody that's a bit insecure or they have low self-esteem here. You don't feel really grounded. And I just said something about compassion. So maybe you're lacking compassion with something or this is someone else. For some of you, this is a baby mama or a mother figure or something like that. Or someone like that that's in your energy that is a bit... uh off their rocker here yeah the devil <laughs> landed right on the devil um it could be dealing with a capricorn we're gonna see what's going on with that but let's see what's going on for um you guys could possibly be trying to create something or manifest something but you're not feeling too inspired i'm hearing some of you guys could possibly be having uh fertility issues here okay that that could be for somebody but let's see we're gonna clarify and see Okay, yeah, the fool in reverse. So yeah, not feeling very inspired or enthusiastic about a new beginning that's supposed to be happening. Um, somebody here could be scared of change here. And like I said, um, somebody could be scared of what's on the other side of this new beginning. They don't know what's happening or what's going to happen. So somebody is scared or this could be somebody here that's just acting foolish. Okay, that's in your energy, acting a damn fool. 
Somebody could, could be an absentee father or mother figure here. Somebody could be negligent toward their children. Okay, I'm picking that up too. What else? Let's see. Okay, yeah, Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, so this could be about a child here. Page of Pentacles is here. So some of you guys could be receiving good news about a child. Maybe because somebody is negligent here, you are going to receive custody of the child here, full custody or something. But for others of you, this is a new job or a new offer that's trying to come in that you could be undecided about. But the Page of Pentacles upright is good news. This is somebody that's loyal, they're dependable, they're reliable here. Um, this could be somebody that's younger than you. Could be a younger Earth sign. This person here is maybe just new at life. Okay, they just I, I don't know. They don't have much experience, put it that way. Some of you guys could be in school. You're trying to decide whether to go back to school or not because maybe you just don't feel really grounded or you want to have some more knowledge and, and, and some more education under your belt here, possibly. But this Page of Pentacles is a new, you know, something new, something solid or seed that you can kind of like um, plant and something is going to grow and come of it. But let's see. What, what else for Libra? Yeah, the Hierophant. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Definitely strong Taurus here with the Empress. Page of Pentacles. So there could be somebody here that wants to come in and give you a commitment here. You guys could be going to get some advice. The Hierophant, because um, the Hierophant does talk about a uh, somebody that's knowledgeable, gives good advice. They're a teacher, they're a guide. But it could also uh, be an institution. Okay, so some of you guys could be hearing back from for some of you, this is court. For others of you, this is just a, I don't know, a place that's high ranking, that, that's a business place, if you guys can get what I'm saying. But um, like a place of business here, you guys could be hearing back, like a job could be, because the Page of Pentacles is a job offer. Some of you guys could work for the government here. For some of you, you're trying to apply for a government job. But this could be about a commitment or a marriage, something long-term. Something that aligns with your values, your morals. Okay, what you find to be important here. What else for Libra? Okay, yeah, five of wands. So for some of you with this right here with the Empress in reverse, this could be somebody arguing with you or fighting with you. Okay, they're giving you issues here. It could be your baby mama or baby dad that's giving you problems. Okay, or somebody here is in competition with you. There's just some drama going on. Let's see, what else? Some conflict. What else for Libra? Okay, Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you know, I feel like somebody here is a bit immature. They're childish. I don't know. It's like somebody here is definitely, they're very insecure with the Eight of Cups in reverse. I feel like somebody also wants to return to you, Libra, but they're scared because, I mean, maybe not necessarily scared, but I mean, they don't know how it's going to turn out possibly. Okay. But yeah, something here is stagnant. Somebody has a fear of moving on from something, though. Hmm. This could be somebody here fearing commitment with the Hierophant Page of Pentacles. Okay. Excuse me. Let's see. Somebody's very immature, though, or they just not experienced, not as experienced as you are. Let's see. What else? With this relationship thing, yeah, the harm, it could be dealing with a Virgo. So definitely an introspection mode here, trying to figure out how they can offer you something or whatever this is. Some of you guys are definitely um, getting a new job here. Maybe you do research or something with technology here, or IT I'm picking up. But there's definitely something involving a mentor or a therapist or a counselor. Some of you guys could be that here. But somebody here is probably needing advice for something is what I'm picking up as well. You could be seeking advice. Somebody could be paying a mentor or a therapist for, you know, this is, whatever the shit is that they're going through mentally or emotionally. It could be anything. But the harm talks about spiritual awakening. Okay, isolation, going within to find answers to something. Some of you guys could be tarot readers here with the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Hermit, very wise. What else? Or you do, do some divination work. 
Okay, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. <clears throat> King of Pentacles. Some of you guys are married to somebody here that's, that's money hungry. They're taking you for everything that you have. Or they're just... I don't know. Somebody here could be having sex for money. All right, you could be finding out somebody was doing that here. Okay. But the Nine of Pentacles is definitely um, in reverse. It's like making a bad investment or... Um, losing a lot of money. Somebody here is lacking stability. Okay, lacking stability. All right. So let's just see. What is this um Empress here in reverse for Libra? Yeah, Six of Swords. Somebody moving away from whatever this is. What's this Empress right here in reverse? Okay, Nine of Swords in reverse. Hmm. What else for this Empress in reverse with the Nine of Swords in reverse? This person could be gossiping. Somebody here could be gossiping. Yeah. You know, Libra, somebody is definitely... um uh like playing with you mentally i feel like there's a lot of mind games or some shit going on here somebody here is having outbursts with the high priestess in reverse definitely a secret is coming out about somebody whatever was hidden is going to come out could be dealing with the pisces or a cancer but i feel like you're moving away with the nine of swords in reverse you're moving away from feeling anxious or worried or stressed about whoever this is or whatever this situation is and you're coming out of a time of feeling down and out in a situation but somebody around you here is like having outbursts okay this person here lacks self-awareness their intuition is blocked they don't really listen to themselves they don't really know themselves here what happened to my music i don't like how my music just went off like that okay because i can hear it but y'all can't but um this could be somebody trying to block your intuition because I do see, I, I don't know, some type of, somebody's into like um, divination of some sort. It could be you, you know, you could be represent the good side of spirituality, hopefully, if you're watching my channel. But, you know, I don't know, this person here is a bit, um, they could be, a, somebody here could be a dark witch. That's what I was trying to say with the high priestess in reverse. Um, what else was I picking up? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know what's wrong with this person. <laughs> but like I said, somebody could be suffering from fertility issues too, though. With the high priestess in reverse, the in reverse could mean that too. You know, I'm sorry if you guys are going through that. What's this high priestess in reverse? There could be a fight over a child here. For some of you, you could be finding out maybe that a child isn't yours. Or there's just a fight over some children. Yeah, two of wands. So trying to plan ahead or make a decision here. But somebody's intuition is blocked. Or somebody's trying to cause a blockage. Okay, like your psychic powers are being blocked. Or something like that is happening. This person is trying to block your forward movement or your progress in something. Yeah, Five of Swords playing mind games here in a commitment or marriage or something here that was long term. I feel like this person sits back and they plan whatever this is. They plan this. It's like somebody likes to argue or fuss or fight. Okay. But you definitely have a decision to make. And I feel like somebody doesn't want you to make the right decision for yourself here. What's the fool in reverse for Libra? Okay, yeah, nine of wands. Somebody's stressed. I feel like something is just ongoing. Like you feel weary, you feel stressed, you feel physically drained. But I feel like you're not giving up on something here. Okay, whatever this whatever this um, stupidity is or this foolish behavior around you is, is stressing you out. You could just have a lot on your plate too. But something here is like an ongoing battle. But I feel like you're fighting through whatever this is. What's the fool in reverse with the nine of wands? 
Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you just you're just finding that somebody here that you're either working with when it comes down to your finances or that you're married to or in a contract with is over, it's not working. Somebody here lacks the commitment, lacks the motivation. They don't have the same drive and ambition as you when it comes down to a relationship or a job or a business here. You just realize that you can't work with somebody, so you're wanting to end the contract. And I feel like somebody is giving you a hard time or putting you through a lot of bullshit here. Okay, this could be multiple people that you're that you're around here that's working for you or with you or this could be a relationship here that you're in like a contract that's just not working you're not growing here you're not expanding it's just over with you don't want you don't want it anymore and so now i feel like somebody is mad okay i feel like you are a little bit scared possibly of a new beginning but it's i guess because of whatever this is that you're going through you don't want to go through this again so you know you could just be a little bit stressed What's this um, page of pentacles right here? Yeah, the high from right here in reverse. Look at these synchronicities. Could be saying 444. I mean, um, the high from is five, I meant. So you could be saying 555. Five, five. Yeah, with the five of wands, the high from here twice. Definitely something is over though. You guys could be saying 1010 10 as well. Nine, nine with the hermit and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, and the nine of swords, nine of wands here. Yeah, but something here is over. I feel like you're wanting to step out of your comfort zone and do something that is not going to be liked by other people. And I feel like you just don't give a fuck. I feel like you want to like kind of like create your own rules and do whatever this is that you want to do. Okay, definitely a divorce taking place or something here long term. Let me see. Um, For some of you this is your personal this is you kind of like clinging on to old belief systems but let's see what is this higher for in reverse right here with the page of pentacles something here needs to change yes seven of swords yeah i feel like you're definitely turning your back and leaving somebody in the cold here that was um lying to you they were being sneaky behind your back here and I feel like this is a long-term commitment that's ending due to the lies and deceit and betrayal here. So wh whatever this is, this this person here, somebody here wants to come back, but I feel like their offer is bullshit here. I feel like you already broke up with this person or you divorced them and shit like that. You don't want to be bothered with this person. They're a liar with the seven of swords in reverse. I mean, with the seven of swords and the hyphen in reverse. I feel like something here just doesn't align with you. What's the seven of swords right here? Something here is just not for you anymore. Yeah, Six of Cups. You're over it. So I feel like this person is going to try to come back and offer you something, but it's not stable. It's not secure. Okay, they're coming in like they're reliable, like they like you can trust them or depend on them, but you really can't. This could definitely be somebody that you have a child with. Okay, but I feel like you're letting go of the past and you're moving on. You're growing up. Somebody's maturing here. And moving on from the lies, the betrayal, the deceit, whatever. What's this higher from right here? Upright for Libra. With the Six of Cups in reverse, yeah. Somebody does not like the memories that they have with someone <laughs> at all. What's the higher from right here? Okay, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody here could definitely be doing spell work, though, is what I'm picking up. Somebody could be doing spell work on your finances, your stability, you know. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be definitely somebody here that you were married to. This could be this Empress in reverse. They're a dark witch or something like that. You were married to this person. They're some type of spiritualist, but they are dark here. And they're doing some type of spell work on you. And they're delusional because they, I, I don't know, but they're trying to keep you ungrounded and unstable here. This person could be broke. They're having a loss of money or experiencing a loss of money. They could own a business that's going under. Okay, but somebody's definitely ungrounded, they're unstable, they're very mean-spirited, and they, they don't mean you any well, they don't mean you any good here. Okay, like, what is this Hierophant with the Queen of... That scared me. <laughs> what is this Hierophant with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, <laughs> Will of Fortune in reverse could be dealing with the Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody's getting bad karma for whatever this is. Shit is not turning out in their favor. I feel like you've taken this person to court or, I don't know, something about an institution is, is here. But definitely somebody somebody's losing a lot of fucking money. Something is not turning out how they thought it would. 
Yeah, Ace of Swords. I feel like you're going to, yeah, you're receiving clarity and the truth about something. Something is becoming clear, especially if this person has been trying to block you and block your intuition in some type of way by doing spell work. They're definitely getting karma for whatever this is. Things are not working out for them. Just period. At all. What is this? Um, <laughs> What's this Five of Wands right here for Libra? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's been a fight over money, over an investment. Okay, yeah, the devil. Yeah, it's definitely a divorce, though. Most definitely that. It could be a fight within a family. Okay, a home. A fight over assets here is what I'm picking up the most. Something here that you invested in is just... Just shit just, just is horrible. There could be a lot of people involved here. What's this? Uh... The Five of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Who's this Knight of Cups? Yeah, this could be somebody here that you were romantically involved with or... Yeah, the Tower. Yeah. Whatever their little plan was went to shit. You could be dealing with the Scorpio or um, a Aries here with the Tower. But there's a lot of chaos or dysfunction here. This could be somebody here that you invested into, you dated, or obviously you were married to this person. Clearly, you have kids with them or something like that or some type of family. This shit. I also feel like somebody here is trying to stop you from going towards someone else. Somebody doesn't want you to move on. Yeah, but something here came crashing down. There's a lot of debt here, financial debt, financial loss, but... Something here didn't work for your own good here. Just put it like that. Because, you know, it's a lot of unexpected changes or events happening in someone's life. It's fighting, it's chaos. It's just, it's a lot going on. I feel like somebody's mad because you won't accept their offer. You divorced them already, you don't want to be with them, and they just keep coming back for more. What is this Eight of Cups in Reverse for Libra? Eight of Cups in Reverse. Yeah. Ace of Cups. What is this Eight of Cups in Reverse with the Ace of Cups? So definitely new love is here. Yeah, the Strength card. That's that Leo energy I was pulling in the beginning. Yeah, it could have been a battle getting here, man, to whatever this relationship is. Libra. There could be a lot of fighting or interferences here, but I feel like something here, I feel like somebody's definitely returning though. Because somebody's out of a contract or broke free from a karmic cycle. And now they want to present you with this love offer, or this is just new love. You're going towards new love here. Okay, you could still be feeling a bit insecure or um or this is somebody else. Just flip the roles. I feel like somebody here walked away from you temporarily because they had to go back to something. They had to um, get their shit together. Yeah, somebody stayed in a bad situation because they lacked their own self-worth. So this Ace of Cups and the Strength card could just be you. Ooh, excuse me. Um, Finding the confidence and the strength to move on and the courage to move on from a situation here. Because I feel like somebody here, yeah, this is what this is. The Eight of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Cups and the Strength. There's new love on the other side of this. Whatever this shit is. But somebody here is stuck or feels like they're stuck. They, It could be just spell work here that's that's on somebody because they're in low vibrational energy or they're stressed. That, that's, that's how them dark entities can attach because somebody here is not... I, I don't know. But there's new love here. There's new love, but I just feel like somebody here is stuck in the situation. They're trying to gain that courage and the strength to move on because whatever this is, is just a horrible situation that somebody is stuck in. Somebody is like faking their happiness and, and they're really stressed. Something here is just not working out. Somebody here could be fearing commitment or fearing a, um, have, like have abandonment issues here with the Eight of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> what's this ace of cups what's this ace of cups for libra yeah knight of pentacles 
So yeah, I do feel like somebody here wants to offer you something, Libra. And I feel like they are going to find the courage and strength to come back to you with the Eight of Cups in reverse because that's what this is giving me. It's probably mean it's it means upright moving on, but in reverse, I feel like somebody's trying to come back, but it's it's real slow or stagnant right now. It's stuck because I don't know. Somebody needs to gain clarity and the truth around whatever they're in or whatever's going on. But I'm also hearing take take your time. Okay, don't rush yourself. Don't rush your journey. Really work through your feelings if this is you. Okay, because there could be some fear of abandonment and shit like that. For some of you, somebody's having money issues here. That's what's going on. But yeah, what's this hermit right here for Libra? What's the hermit? Okay, yeah, the hangman in reverse. So yeah, somebody's in introspection mode. And I feel like going through an awakening because somebody here is like stuck. They're like really, really stuck. But I do feel like they're coming out of it with the hangman in reverse. I feel like somebody's learning how to detach themselves from whatever this is. But somebody definitely needed to shift their perspective or look at something a different way or see beyond the 3D here. Because definitely some warfare going on possibly. But what's the hermit with the hangman in reverse? Yeah, so now somebody's in hermit mode doing some introspection, trying to release this Six of Cups in reverse energy. Yeah, somebody could be healing um, childhood wounds here. Things happen in their childhood or abandonment issues, abuse. Yeah, but Five of Cups, yeah, somebody here is sitting in sadness a bit or they're just, I don't know, very disappointed in how things have turned out. So right now, Spirit is working with this person to mature and grow. Or this is you, but... Definitely some sadness or some hurt, some disappointment, some pain here that needs to be released. What's this Nine of Pentacles in reverse here for Libra? Yeah, Five of Wands here twice. Yeah, what's this Nine of Pentacles with this Five of Wands in reverse? I mean, Five of Wands. It's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Wands. Yeah, the Magician. I'm not surprised this came out. Definitely strong Virgo or Gemini energy. What's this magician right here? What's this damn magician? This is person doing spell work here. Yeah, the fool, because they don't want you to move on. The fool in reverse could be dealing with an Aquarius. This person does not want you to move on. So they're definitely doing spell work on your finances or they're trying to really, really keep you stuck. The queen of pentacles in reverse. The magician here, I'm surprised we didn't see the devil. We got the page of pentacles that talks about divination. This person could just be watching tarot on you or something like that. But I feel like somebody here has definitely been doing some type of spell work to keep you trapped or to have some type of hold on you or power over your decision making. Okay, to try to confuse you here. This is why somebody's, this is why indecision is here. Because um, somebody's trying to confuse you about which path you should go down or take. Because I feel like you do love somebody and this person loves you here or they want to be with you or they have feelings for you or whatever. And um, uh, let's get some divine timing cards here. I'm going to go put my groceries out uh, away. So it says, no, yeah, confused mind, overwhelmed by not understanding what is really going on. Intensity scares them. So that could be a thing. This relationship could be just an intense one. Or this person doesn't like drama. Somebody here doesn't like confrontation. So they've been letting this person do whatever to them or control them for years or a long time. But it says expect delays. Okay, so this is what's going on here. That's exactly what's going on. Let's see what else for Libra. Yeah, it says new love. Cut cords with old flames and clear the way for new love. September. So September could be significant. Is that your birthday, Libra? October, September? Or that's Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo as well, I think. But yeah, there's new love here. Somebody here needs to get out of this stagnant or stuck situation. That's the issue. What else? Somebody here. Yeah. Healing. It says healing can't be rushed. Breathe through it, work through it, and learn from it. November. So something that could have happened last November or something's going to have happen between, you know, November and September of this year for some of you. 
maybe that's when new love is coming in if you're the one stuck with this you know in this marriage or with this person that's doing spell work and shit yeah it says no karmic cycle they must complete their karmic contract to clear negative karma yeah yep that's what's going on here thank you spirit for the the clarifications and confirmations yep so somebody's still up to the same old shit libra you know i felt happy doing your reading but <laughs> um you know first starting your reading but shit well, that shit changed quickly so maybe that's just my energy <laughs> so let's see clarify the spray here for libra even further please yeah, undecided at the bottom of the deck. Then we have commitment issues. I said that. Change perspective. Yeah, and then it says someone returning. They will speak up. So once somebody changes their perspective or realize what's really going on in the situation and, and heal those commitment issues here, they can, yeah, seek expert help. Yep, thank you, Spirit. With the, the Hierophant and the Hermit here, definitely somebody is, is probably seeking help for whatever is going on with them. Somebody needs therapy or a counselor. Nothing wrong with it says don't settle okay so don't settle here someone returning wanted to come out then we have accurate psychic ability so whatever you think intuitively is going on it is especially if you think somebody's doing spell work here they are okay they definitely are to keep your person stuck or you so it says wait okay increase money and then we have concerns about money so somebody is definitely concerned about their money somebody's money is going to increase okay it's just i don't know when <laughs> you know then we have chemistry so you and somebody here have chemistry somebody here could be a chemistry teacher is what i just heard and it says it's not over yet so for you and someone here it's not over yet there's a lot of hostility going on in a family dynamic most definitely Somebody is an alchemist here is what I heard with chemistry. Somebody knows like whatever this spell work is that somebody's doing, they're mixing shit together and they're they're definitely like one of the, this, this person, I don't know. What, what else? For Libra. artist says stop reaching out so if you're reaching out to this person just stop doing it let them handle what they what they what they're doing for some of you this is you this is a spirit telling you to stop reaching out to this past person leave this past person alone let them fight amongst themselves here ignore their ass it might be easier said than done but somebody here needs to detach from whatever this is then we have spring so something that could be happening this spring avoidance yeah somebody's been avoiding you maybe then we have temporary so spiritual path so somebody here is definitely learning a lesson to go down their spiritual path here. I feel like they avoided you because you are a part of their spiritual path. The intensity of the connection is too strong with you and them. Could be a twin. Then we have red flags and wants commitment. So yeah, so, so somebody here wants commitment, but it's a lot of red flags with this person. I feel like it's those commitment issues, okay, and fear of abandonment here. Okay, that's the red flag. And I guess somebody's baby mom or baby daddy or somebody's bitter ass ex-wife or ex-husband that somebody's dealing with. But yeah, Libra. So this was your reading. I hope you got some clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.